I'm Robin Clevett, welcome to my channel. Now I'm out on a garden room build at the moment and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about foundations, in our case, ground screws. Now we use ground screws because they're a great new technology. It eliminates the need for loads and loads of concrete and for a low impact building like a garden room, which is effectively a temporary structure, this is the ideal solution. It gives you a strong foundation it's quantifiable, and I'm gonna show you a little bit how we do it. The screws we're gonna be using on this garden room are 1.5 meters long. The reason we're using a 1.5 meter screw is because the first three or 400 mil of our ground is made up of hardcore backfill and rubble. So we need to get through into the clay below, which is really nice and solid. We're in the West Sussex wheeled clay area here. It's a nice bit of material and it can take some serious loads. Now, how do we know how much load those screws can take? Well, we can perform a pull test. So the object is, is we put a screw in the ground and then we try to pull it back out again. And using a hydraulic device, which measures how much force it needs to pull that screw out of the ground, we can establish a loading rate for those screws. And then what we tend to do is work on, say, 50% of the pull test and so we're way on the side airing on the side of caution so on this particular job I'm putting 21 screws in the ground for this garden room I'm going to show you a little bit about the pull test now so here are the screws they're just like massive wood screws they've got a flange on the top there and you can put all different bracketry on top of it to actually attach your structure to it so this is the screw I'm using it's a 1.5 meter screw We've actually screwed one in the ground here. This is where we're going to perform the pull test. This is the device for the pull test. It's like a hydraulic jack. And in between the screw and the jack, there's a device here. It's a very precise device, which is going to actually measure how much force it needs to come out of the ground. Can you see the, all right? It's green, yeah. yeah. So yep. it's on zero. Okie dokie. You ready? Yep. You're looking for a perceptible movement. Right, two meters, 2,400. Where are we? 4,100, 4,200. It's starting to move now, I think. Yeah. That's it. Not bad. No, it's pretty good. No, it's not bad. And we'll put a 50% safety mm. factor in mm. that, so that's mm. 2,000. So you, I hope you could see that there. And what that was doing was, it was trying to pull that screw out of the ground. And in doing so, it gave us a reading, and now we got up to well over 4,000 kilograms. So we'll put in at least a 50% safety factor of that. So we could quite comfortably say that our screws here are gonna take somewhere around about 2,000 kilograms, which is a, a lot of weight. So after a little bit of setting out and measuring with the guys, putting exactly the points where I want the screws to catch all of the structure. It's a fairly simple operation once we've done that. So we go around with an extremely big pilot drill. So once all the pilot holes are done, we go around positioning all the screws, getting them all ready to be screwed into the ground to enable me to get on with my job.
set it then. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Let's have a look. What do you reckon, Robin? I reckon that's just like perfect as normal. <laughs> as normal. What you come to expect. Well, that's what we come to expect, yeah. Then it's just a matter of screwing all the screws down and it's a really satisfying part of the job. Well, that's nigh on all the screws in. We've got a couple more to go. We've hit a couple of bits of hard ground, but that's to be expected. So you're gonna carry on and finish them. I've got to disappear to another job. Um, so it's been quite a tough one, yeah. or not. It's quite a tough one. So what you need to understand is that most of the ground around the country is different. Sometimes you're gonna experience trouble or issues, but mostly they can be overcome by either moving the screws slightly or digging down checking if there's an obstruction putting a longer screw in potentially but i'm really happy with how far we've got they've gone in really well nice and level like it's just one here i could talk for you to see them but here's one here there's loads everywhere we've got 21 screws on this job and gil as usual has done an amazing job mate Cheers, buddy. yeah and i'll see you on the next one all right Thanks a lot, mate. Right, Catch you soon. All right.